friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a simple step counter app in MIT App Inventor. I will also show the approximate distance covered in this app. You can expand on this app and ask the user to enter his or her weight, height and gender and calculate calories burnt too. Let's have a look at the demo. I'm walking with the cell phone and I think it is pretty accurate with the steps and even the distance. Before I begin with the project, if you like my work, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the great projects that I have planned for you. You can also support my work by buying me a cup of coffee. The link is in the video description. So let's begin. First of all, open up MIT App Inventor, go to project, start a new project. Let's call it step counter, no spaces in the project name. In screen one's properties, make align horizontal center, align vertical center, make the background color gray, and make the screen orientation portrait. Drag and drop a button from user interface onto the viewer. Rename the button to Start Stop Button. In the button's properties, make the background color green. Make the font bold. Font size 22. Make height 10% and width. 30%. Also make the shape rounded and change the text to start. Select this button and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V for Windows and Command C, Command V for Mac OS. Rename this to reset button. Change the background color to orange and just change the text to resets. So duplicating components has made our life easier. Drag and drop a label from user interface below this reset button. Rename to steps LBL for label. Make font bold, font size 30. Change the text to zero steps and make the text color white. Select this steps label and duplicate it. Rename to distance LBL and just change the text to you walked zero meters. So this is when the app starts and change the text color to orange. From sensor, so this is the most important part, drag and drop a pedometer. This is a non-visible component. In its properties, I am going to change this stop detection timeout to 1000. This will make it more responsive and I will change the stride length to 0.5 meters because I thought that this was more accurate for me. Lastly, I will also add a label between these two buttons because if you test this app on the emulator or on your device, you will see that these buttons are touching each other. So I want a space between them. So you know how to add a space between components, just use an empty label. So make the height 2% and remove the text from it. Okay, so our screen design is done. So let's go to the block section. You might be wondering why we didn't make a separate stop button. Our start stop button is basically a toggle button and we will switch between the two states of start and stop. So get the start stop button, click event and here we're going to check for those two states. So we need an if else block from control and we are going to check if the text on our button is equal to start. So in that case, we will start our pedometer and in the other situation, we are going to stop our pedometer, okay? So go to logic, get the equal to block and get the text for start stop button. So if we go down, the current state of start stop button will be inside this text and we can check it against a text block. 
which says start. So make sure that it is exactly the same spelling as you used when you designed the app here. So in the case the button's text is equal to start and the if condition is true, then this means that button was in the start state when it was pressed and we have to start the pedometer. So go to pedometer and get its call block for starting it and next we have to change the button state to the stop state okay so again go to start stop button and get its set text block and we can duplicate this and change this to stop okay and i would also like to change the color of the button background to red to reflect the stop state so if i just duplicate it I can choose background color here and now it expects a color block here. So if I go to colors, I can get the red block, okay? In the other situation, we don't have to specifically check whether it is equal to start because our button's text can only be start or stop. So if it is not start, then this means it is stop. So in that case, we are going to stop the pedometer. So if I click on the pedometer and get its stop lock and next we have to change the state to start and the color to green so i can duplicate this and change it to start again make sure that the spelling is correct and let's duplicate the color block too for changing its background color and let's choose green here okay what next if we click on a pedometer we have two events the simple step and the walk step. I will be using the walk step because this is more accurate according to MIT App Inventor's documentation because it associates a step as a walk step if it is accompanied with a forward motion and that is what walking is generally about, okay? So we need to be moving forward too, okay? So I'm going to be using this and when this event is triggered, I will update my labels the two labels of steps and distance accordingly using these values so you can see how simple it is to make a step counter app because mit app inventor has provided us with this amazing pedometer component and it, it has done all the hard work for us so we don't really need to use an accelerometer sensor to count the steps okay so we just need to set our label so set our labels text to and I want it to be a join from text and again a text block which will say space and steps okay because we want a space between the number and the steps word and what is the number here it is just walk steps so hover over it and get the get block for it okay and we can duplicate this, change this to distance label, okay? And we need another string here. So if I click on the cog wheel, I can drag another string here, okay? And in this case, I need a text block here. So I can bring this one here and make it you walked space, very important. And I can bring this in here and change this to distance and then plug this one here and change this to space meters, okay? So you walked this much the distance meters, okay? So this will be filled in appropriately by our events input variables, okay? In the case of the reset button click event, we will reset our pedometer. So let's get the click event and let's go to the pedometer and get its reset and after that I would recommend that you also reset your labels to the zero state so I can duplicate this and bring it here and plug a zero block here and I can duplicate this and plug this here again plug a zero block by duplicating and 
let's clean up our blocks and remove the unused blocks. So this is done. And you can see how simple it was to make this step counter app with the help of the pedometer sensor. I hope you like this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you like my work. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.